busy weekend, but not the sort of busy that I like. I had to do a lot of crap that wasn't car related, but still was able to get the first coat of the rust bullet on there, and it it's all right. Um, I ran out, I only got a pint, or like a quarter pint. So I ordered a pint, and then I'll be able to put a second coat on here and actually finish uh, the front apron as well, because that's all it left me to do. But eh, it, it covers okay, it's definitely not as thick as the POR15, it's a lot more runny. Um, it doesn't go on as good, but I mean, I guess that's where the the cheaper price tag comes from, but yeah, I'll deal with that later. I also took all the windows except for the windshield. I'm keeping that on there because I like using it for storage. But I got all the windshields out, or all the other windows out. Hello. Ooh. And the rear one, too. Um, the thing is with these is that the trim here, I don't know how to remove that without completely gnarring it like I did right there. So, I don't know, this is gonna be one of the last things I do to the car, so I don't have to worry about it for a while. But, I don't know if I can reuse these, or if I just have to go buy new ones. And I really hope I don't have to buy new ones, because, like, doing the entire, like, all the trim for the windows, it's gonna be, like, over $300. I don't wanna spend that. And I spent all day yesterday changing the rear tire on my scooter. Yes, it was all day. I actually have a video on how to do that, but I didn't watch it, and I should have, because then maybe I wouldn't have spent all day on it. So, another thing I did today was I built a shed for my wife, or I put it put together a shed and build it. Rubbermaid did, and. That took all morning because it's a very, very poorly put together design. But I mean, she's got all her crap in there for her art and we put some insulation foam up here just, oops, sorry. Put some insulation foam up here just to seal it in a little better because they said it's watertight, but it's definitely not. So what am I doing? Stripping paint. It's got some of this stuff the rust-oleum stuff which is okay but I got some uh, some clean clean strip stuff coming in the mail and see if that works any better but I'm just gonna keep at this um, it looks like this thing has never had bodywork on it unless that's what no 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 yeah it's never it's the virgin panels it's pretty sweet um, yeah I'm gonna take care of this Oh, virgin panels. Nope. Big patch of Bondo right there. Uh, so, yeah. God, the moisture in the air is already starting to get at this. Look at that. Um, so, I think I'm just going to hit the rest of this with a DA and just knock all the remaining crap off of it. And then put some WD-40 on the bare metal to sort of keep it from uh, doing that right there. And get the rest of this, and I don't know. We'll see what I want to do with that later. I'm back on the paint stripper. I was using the uh, wire wheel for a while, but honestly, it was making too much damn noise, and it's playoff football, and I don't want my neighbors to hate me, especially because I'm restoring a car in my garage, and I don't want to. I want to make sure everyone's my friend while I'm doing that. So I'm using a stump. One of which, those two garbage cans are filled up with the root system and the, the yeah, pretty much the root system of a bunch of weeds that were now, that were once, were, once were where the shed was. That's the English. But yeah, that's what pretty much took all day is I had to like pretty much dig. Well, my wife dug like a three and a half foot hole just to get all this crap out. I told her to do it because my... Shoveling's pretty much the worst thing I could possibly do for my back. So I guess I'm just gonna keep stripping. Hopefully that clean strip stuff works a little bit better than the the Rust-Oleum stuff because it's it's like passable. But I want something that strips it all off in one go, so I don't have to keep coming back to it like I am. Because this is like obviously the 
the quietest, less messy way of doing it. But I don't know if it's the fastest. I'm spending more time with this thing, I'm starting to wonder about these rust spots and like how they were coming through the paint and like specifically like how they did that because there is primer in here like this gray stuff that is primer and then there's paint on top of that so I don't know if whoever painted this before just didn't do any sort of rust protection whatsoever on this thing like no osfer no even vinegar like no nothing and just you know paint it from there that could be it or this already existed and he just said out of hell with it and just paint it on top of it but either way it's kind of confusing or I might be stripping no no I'm not stripping out the original paint because why the hell would there be Bondo so I don't know that's kind of what I like about these projects these restoration projects is you kind of start to piece together the history of the car the deeper you get into it also I'm without my respirator right now and I'm like right next to this stuff working and it's not knocking me out I can't even smell it so that's good news because that means that I can at least keep working on stripping paint while I'm in my garage I can do that at night I can do a, a one pass each night or something like that and slowly chip away at it so that's good um, but the, the the actual like POR 15 or rust bullet that stuff stinks to high heaven and there's no other time for me to do it other than the weekend but this is going to take a while this is definitely going to take a while because the stripper just ugh, it just I don't know, I hope the the other stuff I got is going to work a little better than this uh. so the internet has told me in order to protect bare metal from rusting in order to protect bare metal from rusting um, spray WD-40 on it and that's what I did. And now it's really shiny. And now I can pretty much put this aside for a while. And, you know, I'll, I'll get like a 120 and, and get all these other little fragments out. But there it is. Pretty much stripped. And it took me like six freaking passes. So I really hope what's coming is a lot better than that. Dude, I got a lot accomplished today. With the second coat on the front area, so that's all done, and I kind of slopped the second coat on there pretty rough, so, I mean, it's gonna have runs, it's gonna have lines, it's not gonna look completely flat, but that's okay because I'm put it on super thick because I'm gonna sand it back a little bit so that I can spray primer on there, and the primer has something to adhere to. Other things I'm doing, um, I'm starting to kill the rust on the door sills and the back of this trunk, like right there, that little bit on the apron, and then of course all this on the rear of the hatch. So I put the degreaser on there and soaked it down with water to kill it a little bit, and then I think Maybe later tonight I'll come back with the metal ready and, uh, you know, do that part of it. And then it's pretty much good to go. So, I also started work on the sunroof. Show you that. Welcome to my sanding booth. So, I started patching this. I'm on my second coat of Bondo um, just to fill in that dent that's in there and I gotta tell you man I should have got a DA sander a million years ago because like feathering edges is so goddamn easy with that like it's it's not even funny like I'm feathering the edges they they I can't when I run my finger across I can't tell that they're there and like it takes me like got like a sixteenth of the time it doesn't take any time at all but stripping the paint off this wasn't too hard because there wasn't any primer on it it was just all paint so I don't know what the story is with this but yeah it didn't have any primer on it so it wasn't that hard to do so oh and the gas tank just got my Osfer that stuff right there Osfer whatever the hell it's called um, done with it 
put that in there, sloshed it around and, you know, doused it with water just to clean that out. And I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then tomorrow I'll probably put in the, uh, the POR15 tank sealer finally and seal this tank up because I have realized a few things and I'm going to give you a little bit of an update. Hello. Hi. Remember this place? Shitty shop? Well, it's still shitty. So I, let me fix this so I'm not looking at the viewfinder. There we go. Hello. So I figured out what I'm going to do with paint and I'm not going to take it to a shop. I'm going to do it all myself. Um, and not by using like a spray gun or anything because frankly like I'll stink up the whole house and like annoy the neighbors and get shit everywhere and it's just like I'm not going to do it that way. Um, and the reason is this, like I sent out probably 20 to 30 requests for quotes on uh, Yelp for different body shops in the area and they all came back telling me it's going to be like the least expensive ones I saw were like $25 to like $3,000 to paint that car, even if I strip it to bare metal, which I'm not going to do anymore. Um, so it doesn't make sense to me, considering I bought the car for $2,000, to spend almost double that, or at least double that, on, uh, on paint for it. It just doesn't make sense, especially considering I'm doing all this work to prep it. Like, where the, like how does that... How does $5,000 come into play there? I don't know. I briefly considered Mako, but then I smacked myself and told myself no. Because, I mean, I can get a paint job for $500 to $1,000, but I got no quality control. Like, I don't know how good it's going to be. So, the solution is to use spray cans. And before you guys start chastising me, I'm not going to go to Home Depot to get this stuff. I'm going to... I get the right color stuff from Paint Scratch, and I'm gonna get clear coat like the the catalyzed 2K clear coat that I used on my Kawasaki gas tank, and like I kind of proved it to myself doing that. Like I can put whatever the hell base coat I want on it, and just let it gas out, and then I can like spray a good clear on it, and the results will be fantastic, and they were. So going from a motorcycle gas tank to an entire car, it's just a larger canvas in my opinion. Like it's not, there's not anything different in the whole process. So I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And what that means is that I can go panel by panel, step by step, and get this car like done right. I get to do everything because like unless you guys haven't noticed, like on every single thing that I've done on this channel, every motorcycle I've built, everything, I do everything myself for better or for worse. And giving a major part of the project off to somebody else just doesn't sit right with me, it never did. So, and also, like honestly, the biggest thing is price. Like I don't see the reason to spend more on paint than I did on the entire car. And even if I do, like like these things, like squarebacks in like excellent condition, only go for like 10 grand. So I'm not going to make that money back, really. So it's, it's, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do first, and I could get the paint in, I could get the paint from Paint Scratch in one, in single stage, but the fact that the paint that you get from Paint Scratch is not, like, activated, it's not catalyzed, it, you know, like the clear coat is, it kind of makes me think that it's not the best stuff to use. It's just like any other, it's going to be like any other semi-gloss to gloss paint that I get anywhere. Um, it'll just be the right color for the car. So using that, it doesn't, doesn't sit with me well. That's why I want to get just a color base from them. Single, not single stage, like just a base color without anything else in it. And then get a good clear, like the, the 2K clear from eBay. Um, and pricing it out. It's like, for the base and for the clear, it's about 20 bucks a can. So, considering that I might be having to get like six cans of this stuff, maybe more, um, the price is still under 500 bucks. 
So it's still cheaper than anything I could do, like any anything that I could find anywhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the trunk, the front trunk area, um, finish that off because I want to be able to move the car in and out to give myself a little bit more room um, so that I can get to the driver's side stuff a lot easier because I purposefully pulled the car in to give myself a lot of space on the passenger side because you know I had like floor pans to replace and I needed all that room uh, so like I can I can pull it in so it's a little bit so I have more room to move and like ideally like I do everything on the passenger side let that be done and then pull the car out, pull it back in the other way so the, the nose of the car is facing down so that I have the entire driver's side with all that space and then do that and then I guess like do the, the roof in one shot and just like give my, try and give myself as much space as I can. So uh, that sort of planning I'm going to figure out later but I want to get the front trunk area done first so I can reinstall the gas tank I can start the car again, I can drive it around, and also it gives me a, an opportunity to use the stuff, the paint that I'm getting, use it, get used to it, um, in an area of the car that is not very critical. Like, if I mess up paint in, the, in that area, like it's, 80% of that area is covered in carpet, so, like it, it's a good opportunity to practice right there, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, the 2K stuff is good. I've used it before. I've never had a problem with it. It smells just like the, the clear coat that you mix up yourself and spray out of a gun. Um, it's just that the application is through a can. And also, like, I can't control, like, the fan spread or anything on a spray can. That's, you know, that's, that's just what I gotta do. That's what I gotta deal with. But I'm actually really excited about that because I get to do more stuff myself. I can say at the end of this, like, I... 100% did this car myself. Um, but I think I'm done for the day. What is it? It's it's 4:30. I still got like an hour or so of daylight. Probably more than that. But I haven't eaten anything since 9 a.m. And I've been going ever since. And I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty beat. So I think the last thing I'll do tonight is. Um, sand down the, the bondo on the um, on the sunroof and see if I'm good with that and then put the metal ready on all the places like the door sills and all that stuff I showed you and do that um, and then call it and then tomorrow I don't know I guess probably start doing the the body work on the front apron like those dents that I pounded out and stuff and start trying to fill that in I think that'll that'll take a decent amount of time, uh, and maybe if my tank is dry, I'll put the the PR15 sealer in there and call it. But I'm gonna give this thing ample time to dry. I might just let it sit until next week, just to make sure that all the the water's out of there. So long form, I know, but this was a major update for me. Um, actually, I had two two shops come through that said like. I, when I when I sent out my um, quote request, like everyone's saying, bring me the car. I'm like, I can't, like not yet, um, because if I give you the car, if you want to paint that area, you're gonna have to remove the brake lines and the, the fuel tank. So, you know, I don't want to tow it to you just for you to tell me that it's gonna be like ten thousand dollars and then tow it back. So I had actually two shops that they lived near me and they said like, yeah, dude, I'll come by and I'll look at your car. Um, and I'll give you an assessment right there. I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. Uh, neither of them showed up. So they lost both of my business. Sorry. Um, but it's okay, because once I figured out I could do this with spray cans, I kind of wanted to, to go that way anyway. So it's actually, I'm not too broken up for the fact that they didn't show up, because I kind of wanted to I kind of want to do it this way now. Um, but yeah, this just got more interesting, didn't it? So, see you later. just want to do a quick video here, update my room um, so I don't know I don't, I don't know how often I'm gonna keep making these videos as far as like what I'm gonna do for paint because I keep changing my mind like every single day every single week I keep looking around and I find different options and 
you know, pricing stuff out and just like, you know what I mean? Like, I need to make up my mind already, and I think I did. And I think that the best thing to do is, frankly, to shop it out. Like, because there's a lot of there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. Like, I could get the cops called on me. I could piss off my neighbors. I, there's all these sort of things that can happen by trying to do this stuff myself. I could hurt my dogs by, you know, spraying so much of that stuff it comes up through the vents and they end up breathing it and they're having a bad time or, you know, just, just bad stuff. And it's, I kind of, and the reason why I'm trying to find all these ways that I can do it myself is just because of pride. Like, just like, I, oh, I have to do everything myself and all that. But there are limitations, and the reason why I ended up doing all this motorcycle work in the first place was because my garage was big enough to do work, like full restorations of motorcycles. It was big enough for that, but it is not big enough for a car. Like, it just isn't. Like, and that's a reality, and that's something I got to live with. So, I'm going to shop it out. I'm going to give give it to somebody else to do my paint, my priming, and my, my, uh, my color coding. So... What I've found so far is that I was knocking around the idea of doing, um, what is it, doing uh, soda blasting, and it seemed like a good idea. Everyone was saying, like, oh, yeah, do soda blasting, do soda blasting, but here in the Bay Area, uh, soda blasting a car will not cost you anything less than $700, and the going rate is around a grand to do a car, and that is just... I mean, maybe in, like, Kentucky, you can soda blast a car for $200, and it's not a big deal. But over here, I don't know. It's it's just way too expensive. Considering the fact that just chemically stripping the car is going to be more time-consuming, it's going to be, like, at least on my end, a lot more crappy, like, as, as far as an experience goes. But, I mean, it's going to be, like... God, like the amount of money that I'm going to save, like $800 can be put into a lot of different stuff if I just strip the car myself. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to mess with trying to find a blaster who will do it for less than $700 because it seems like that's the going rate. So that's it. I'm just going to have to end up stripping the car. And honestly, I'm not going to make too many videos about that because it's all the same thing and it's like boring and... There's no point to show you how to strip a panel more than once because it's the same thing every single time. So, as far as paint goes, I think I found a guy up the street from me that's not associated with a shop, but does the work, and he will prime my car in etch primer and then use a epoxy sealer on top of that, and he'll do that for total out the door like $1,000, which is pretty good, and that's like paint included and his labor and all that stuff and he's just up the road so I can basically give him the car in pieces give him a hood give him a fender give him a trunk lid and like he'll do all those I just pick him up and put him somewhere in my garage and then the actual frame of the car he has a place where he can do that um, but I think it's just easier to do it in pieces and that's all included in the thousands so I think that's pretty good um, I'm talking to him about whether or not he can I can like lean on him to do my um, my top coat and if I and now that I'm shopping it out to somebody else I think it's better that I just stick with single stage and you know just have something that is less labor on their part which will mean less money on my side single stage can gloss up just fine if you put a little work into like wet sanding it which you would have to do for a dual stage paint anyways um, and then like color sanding that you know color sanding that buffing it it's it's what you got to do for a two-stage paint anyways uh, and it'll be single stage and like I won't get any guff from like you know restoration people saying like you put like two stage on a single stage car and like not like that mattered to me it's more of a price thing like I can get good single stage mixed up by my local body shop or paint shop just give it to the guy and just say here spray this until basically you're out of paint like I don't you know four or five coats whatever it is and then, you know, I'm done with it. And then I have it and I can 
you know, make it look shiny and respectable and smooth. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if this guy has any experience doing single stage. If not, I don't know, there's always Mako just to shoot it. Like, if it's single stage, all they do is shoot single stage all freaking day. So as long as I give them the paint, like, I don't know. There's, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong there. Um, so... I think that's it. Like, at this point, it's going to be... I don't know, you might not hear from me for a while. All, like, 20 of you. You might not hear from me for a while. Because um, I'm just going to be stripping the car. So, looking at maybe $2,000 to paint the car. Doing it the right way. Stripping it all the way down to bare metal. And doing it in single stage multi, you know, an etch primer and a sealer. I think that's the right way to do it. And also I think it's the, the best like price per performance I can get. And also it kind of stays under my, I don't want to spend more on paint on the car than I did on the actual car. It, 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 it hits that mark too. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully I won't change my mind again. Or maybe if like somebody gets back to me like, I, I put out feelers, like, on local, like, bike forums and, like, other, like, bike builder sort of groups that I'm a part of. And I said, like, guys, like, anybody up in Napa have space that I could build a booth and spray a car in, let me know. If they get back to me, then I'm, I'm just doing it all myself. I'm just going to take it up there, build a booth around the car on a guy's property, and then, you know, just spray everything on there and transport the car back, do all the body work, and then transport it back up when it's ready for its color coat. So if that happens, I'm doing that. If not, I'm spending two grand to go to the guy down the street. And the thing that worried me about that is the guarantee, but all the shops that I talked to were like, look, man, your car's so old, we can't guarantee the work anyways. So it's a wash, really. Like. I'm gonna be that sort of customer that's that's going to be like watching him do everything that he does. Like I am gonna be that guy um, because it's you know he sent me videos of his work, he sent me pictures of it of his work. It looks good enough to me as long as he uses the right products, like you know good like PPG stuff like that. Then I it should be fine. Like primer, you can always you can always fix that, and I can I can fix a bad base coat job as long as there's enough of it on there for me to fix so it's not a whole lot of risk i just got to make sure that he's doing it the right way and he's like you know deep nibbing stuff and whatever but that's it i'm a little sad that i wasn't able to find a shop to do everything for less than two grand but you know where do i live i live in the most expensive expensive place to live in the entire united states I guess that's to be expected. Um, but it's it's a pill I gotta swallow. It is what it is, guys. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, and you might not hear from me for a while. So, you know, don't kill yourselves. I'll be back.